For the last few days, I have, and I think you feel the same, had a gut punch. And I've been trying to put my finger on it, and I've been trying to figure out what to say to you and how to say it. And I think I just have to say it like this. I don't know about you, but I'm tired. I am worn out. I am fed up. I've had enough. I am tired of exposing corruption, doing our homework, finding, going overseas and having documents translated to make sure they're exactly right, presenting the evidence. We know what's happening, except... Then once we expose it, nothing happens. Nobody goes to jail. Nobody pays for a damn thing anymore. Nothing. If you and I did half the things that people in Washington do every day, you and I would go to prison. Clinton got away with it. Even the left knew that the Clinton Foundation was dirty. They sold uranium to our biggest enemy, Russia. Nothing. No. She can take confidential, top secret emails and put them on her server at her home. Something you and I would go to prison for. We would be in prison for the rest of our lives. Not a big deal. Benghazi? No. Not only did we show you that we were gun running to a group in Syria that became ISIS, that's what we were doing in Benghazi. Not only that, but just the killing of a U.S. ambassador, and might I point out on Veterans Day, we abandon our troops. Did anything happen? Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. Nothing. Nothing. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of, of actually being open and saying, okay, well, let's look into the spying on this presidential candidate. That's a pretty hefty charge. Were they doing it? And then finding out, yes, they were, and nothing happens. <laughs> he was colluding with Russia. My gosh, that should be the biggest scandal of all time if that were true. If it wasn't true, and it was started, and evidence, paperwork even showed that they knew, all the way to the White House... You'd think that would be even a bigger story. Lying to the FISA courts, nothing. Creating an enemies list, nothing. Using our own intelligence agencies to assist in this operation. Spending millions of dollars on a claim they knew that wasn't true. The collusion on Russia, they knew it in, before the president was ever elected. The scandal... The loss of billions of tax dollars in Ukraine, no big deal. The lies and the collusion with the Obama administration in Ukraine, no big deal. Hunter Biden, forget about Burisma. What was that, $7 billion? Ha, who cares? Look at Hunter Biden and his, his uh, father in China. Oh, but we don't have any proof of that. Yes, we do. We have all the proof anyone who cares to be honest needs. We have all the documents on his own freaking laptop, which have been verified for people that were working with him, who were Democrats that had those, those same emails on their computer. Nothing. The scandal of our Justice Department, the deep state, which I didn't believe in four years ago. My gosh, you've got to be dead and probably voting in the last election if you don't see the deep state. The corruption of our media, our media telling us to deny our own eyes. There's a car on fire, and they're like, oh, nothing's happening here. It's totally peace. There's a car on fire behind you, but we're not supposed to notice that. Good has been made evil, and evil is made good. They ask you now to don't believe your own eyes, believe us. Our country is being torn apart on the streets by radicals 
who are marching with no Trump, no Biden, no America signs. But don't worry about that. This is just a peaceful group. Really? Our children are being indoctrinated with all kinds of crap, telling them that they're racist because of the color they were born with. The teachers' unions completely out of control. The lies of Black Lives Matter, Inc., and no one seems to care. No one seems to care that Black Lives Matter is actually a corporation. That Black Lives Matter, on their own manifesto, said they wanted to destroy the nuclear family. But that's all fine. Antifa? No. They're not wild in the streets. That's only an idea. Yeah, kind of like Nazism was an idea. But yet, if you support the Constitution, if you just say, I want a fair and legal count, you're a radical. You're an anti-government zealot. I've had it. I've had enough. I almost didn't make the show last week because this is what I wanted to say to you. Except it would have been followed with... So see you later.